What's up? It's your boy Carcino, and let's talk about something real quick. Let's talk about this issue they have with, let's say, Khan Yeezy. Uh, I won't say I'm a prophet or anything of that nature. Then I'll be, you know, falling into the Kanye West realm of insanity. But what I will say is, as I stated before, when he announced that he was going to release his new album, Donda, onto the world, Donda and Child. And I told you what. Do not expect anything from this, because 10 times out of 10, the album is not coming out. People call me a hater. I hate Kanye West. How can you go against your Chicago brethren? All of these things I heard, without going through his track record of him fumbling and screwing up releases, of not just himself, his own artist on his own label. He put out an album cover, which was about a month ago, and still, to this date, no album. July 24th, 2020. Remember that date? That was the date that was supposed to set it off. But what did we get? Hmm? What do we get? Nothing but him arguing with his wife in a car. Way to go, Yeezy. Way to go, Yeezy. Sorry about that. Now, you guys can probably hear me a little better now. Hello? Testing one, two, three. Now, that sounds about better than before with the audio. All right. Now, we're cooking with Crisco. All right. Here it is. Now, don't forget, you can support the page by hitting up the Cash App. Carcino's the name on the Cash App, and definitely you should have already hit the like button. Shouldn't have to tell you that. You can subscribe to the page and definitely hit up the Patreon this week, and you find out what you didn't know about the Jam Master J case. Now that they've made an arrest, we can tell you a little bit more what's going on so that's what's cracking on the carcino for life patreon and now let's get into it donda the album in which was never coming out until kanye west is mentally sane people are very upset that the album did not come out. He had all this promotion. He's still trying to pull some run for office. Or whatever he's trying to do. He's been knocked off ballots. He's facing possible fines and jail time for uh, voter fraud. That doesn't stop Kanye. See, he just keeps coming. Now, a lot of you would believe that Kanye West is a billionaire because on paper, he's a billionaire. 
And you might say, well, what does that mean? Well, on paper, Kanye looks like a billionaire because it says if he was to sell off everything he owns, he would probably get a billion dollars for everything if he was to auction off everything that he owns. So on paper, he's listed as a billionaire. Does not mean this is what he physically owns. If you, if you can understand that. Now. Moving right along. We see other problems. A ton of problems on that horizon. And the problem is this. If Kanye West is having financial difficulties, what he does is, or what he'll do, is take out loans against that, you know, that wealth that he has on paper. So if he's not bringing in money liquid, which I'm quite sure he is due to his shoes, they're keeping him afloat. So out of all those multi-platinum, 10 times, million records sold, that he wouldn't make enough money off those albums to be able to feed his children for the rest of their lives, tells you there's a problem somewhere in the pipeline when it comes to the music business because if I'm a new artist coming in I'm saying wow I'm not finna go diamond and if I did what's gonna be the the overall benefit for me to do that when I'm looking at what happened to people who did go diamond So when you look at that, and you say to yourself, wow, so can, if Kanye West ever want to take a loan out, he'll have to take a loan out with interest. So the banks are going to be making a killing off of the interest alone. They're not concerned and won't ever be concerned with the layout of how everything else is working. You understand? They're going to be making money off of you. Substantial amount of money. Now, I'm not saying this is Kanye's reality. I'm just saying this is the norm because what you have liquid and what your net worth is are in two entirely different things. Now, there are a lot of people in the world that don't get how certain things translate over into, like, okay, this is a fact, and this is a simile, and all of these different things here. It just plays into the complacency of some that's in the industry and some that don't know borders, like Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was someone who never knew the value of money because anything he wanted, he got. It was as simple as that. If Michael wanted it, Michael got it. It's no problem. Michael wanted it, he gets it. So he didn't understand when he wasn't bringing in the revenue that he once was because he had so much money liquid he wouldn't think about the actual maintenance the fees for maintaining a place like ever for Neverland Neverland was was entirely 
too expensive to be ran. But Michael had so much money and revenue coming in, he could run that place forever. Now, what Neverland could have been for the family that owned it, they could have made it a museum like they did Graceland. But what Michael was doing was taking a loan out against his own uh, catalog, which is all they wanted. And even to produce one of his albums, he leveraged the money based on, um, on his album's performance, which was insanity. Because the Beatles catalog is going to be worth way more than a Michael Jackson album that's brand new. And they're going to do everything in their power to make sure Michael Jackson don't reach a quota so that they can solidify a piece of that Beatles catalog. It was low down, it was unpractical, but it was a very important business deal by Sony. It ended up costing Tommy Mottola his job as president of Sony. And may have caused Michael his life. But Kanye, like Michael, they don't understand their borders. Kanye would spend $20 million on an album. Because he's trying to make another thriller or something on that level that goes out around the world that sells millions of records. And he doesn't want to be bordered into being just a rapper. That's what makes him Kanye West. That's what makes him Kanye the artist. But he takes that into everything that he does in life. Everything Kanye does in life is the same thing. As far as the attitude, it's, it's never a border. He's got to have more. So for him to take that loan out, it seems more realistic. But his wife has her own money. You know? And they told me, like, no, Kanye's got the album done. Um, he's He's got, uh, he recorded it for two years. You know, it's still under Def Jam contract and good music. Uh, he's got Dre on there, Ronnie J., you know, uh, he did some on in Wyoming, and he then recorded some in Mexico. He's like, no, Kanye's got the album done. So, we'll have to figure out down the road what psychosis is going on in Kanye's head as to why the album didn't come out just like the other albums that didn't come out but this is the norm when dealing with Kanye West anyway on that note it's your boy Carcino Tell me what you think, and are you anticipating the Donda album? I'm out.